everyone. Welcome to day 10 of the holiday card series for 2023. Um, just a quick housekeeping update. Last week, we announced a new class at onlinecardclasses.com. The class is called Relax and Rewind Holiday 2023, and it is open for registration. It is a live event on Sunday, December 3rd. So the links are down below in order to register for class. And there was early bird pricing for a full week and that pricing, special pricing ends tonight. So if you want to uh, join us for this class, you'll want to make sure you take advantage of that pricing. And if not, not a huge deal, you can still sign up all the way up until, I mean, even after the event is live, you could still join us. So the links are down below for our holiday class. and. I'm teaching that class or that event with my friends, Jennifer McGuire, Kathy Zilski, and Dana Joy. Dana, who might be in the chat, sometimes she's in here with us during my lives. She's a moderator for my live chat. So big hello to Dana if she's joining us tonight. I'm not sure if she is or not. For day 10 of the holiday card series, I'm going to be using this adorable stamp set from My Favorite Things. It's called Christmas Selfies or Xmas Selfies. So cute. I mean, you can tell I've already stamped some and you'll see it in a minute. But I mean, seriously, like a cat building a snowman, snow reindeer, really. The cat with the reindeer under the mistletoe, a little reindeer with a tree. They are just so cute. And by the way, links to the stamp set are down below in the video description as well. Okay, so I had an idea for how to use these cute little selfie images. So this is my card sketch. Can you guys see that? There we go. So it's going to be a card that has like a fold out with three of those images on it. I'm gonna have a 3D embossed background and I'm gonna color with Copics. So I was trying to figure out exactly like the size of this centerpiece and I figured it out up here. So I've cut my cardstock to eight and one quarter wide and three and a half tall. And then each section is two and three quarters or 2.75 inches. So I knew there was some precision I'd need to have to get these just right. So I've actually already stamped it. <laughs> I've already created it. So it's gonna be a little element that goes on the front of the card. It's gonna be closed like that. And then it folds out so you can see all three images. So isn't that just super cute? I just love it so much. Since I had all of these Im images in my Misty and I was stamping them anyway, I stamped a second one so I could show you the scoring because the way you want to score is a little bit different. Well, I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. You probably could just score it how you might imagine. But because it's, it's folded like this, like a Z fold, it will fold a little bit better if you um, do the, the scoring on the correct side. <clears throat> you always want to fold it with the bump on the inside. So if I want it like this, like this, right? That means that right here, I need to score. I'm scoring right here, which is fine. So um, I'm going to use, let's see, this is the, I think it's the score and place tool from Simon Says Stamp. You could also just use a bone folder, but I thought this would just be a nice, thing to use for precision. So I'm coming over to two and three quarters and I'm gonna score that right here. And then when I score this other one, I'm actually gonna turn it this way and then flip it over and go to two and three quarters as well. All right, so that makes it so I can fold this way and then this way. And I'll just have a little bit of a better fold it's not that big of a deal which way you do it. Like this one, I scored both the same direction and then I just folded it, whatever way you want. But um, you wanna, whatever way you do it, you wanna like kind of mess with it, kind of fold it back and forth, really get those folds working well so that it will lay flat on the card. And I'm just gonna start with this cute little guy right here, or I guess probably a girl because they're going to be Sophie and Daphne, right?
time for it to reappear Well, all around me I hear children singing The songs that we all know Well, all around me I hear children singing The songs that we all know So my little trifle is going to go like this. I didn't even think about the fact that you could see that on the back, but really when you fold it out, who's really going to be looking at that side? I mean, I guess I could put more white cardstock on the back, but like I said, I'm trying to avoid adding more bulk to the card. I have some red cardstock. This is from Spellbinders. This is the color Phone Booth. I thought I'd use an embossing folder. So I've got my Spellbinders Platinum 6 here. And the embossing folder I'm going to use today is Holly and Foliage. What I like to do when I'm doing these 3D embossing folders is I'm going to spray my cardstock both sides, just spritz it, just mist it a little bit. I've also heard Jennifer McGuire, she said that she just uses a wet baby wipe to get it damp. Totally valid. All right, so I'll place that in there. Build my little sandwich and then get it started <laughs> and run it through. And then here we have our embossed background. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, so then this is going to go just right on there. But like I said, because I'm trying to reduce the bulk of the card, um, I'm not going to have like a folded card on the back. I'm going to just use like a very thin cardstock on the back, on the very back, so to write a message. I'm gonna use my paper trimmer here just to cut this down. This is the new Tim Holtz trimmer and it's lovely, let me tell you. Okay, I'm gonna cut it down to like, let's see. I'm gonna take three quarters off each side. So you can still see the texture on the background of the red cardstock. My Tombow Extreme Adhesive, getting fuzz all over it. That's okay, it's the back, right? <laughs> and then put that directly in the center. Press that down. And then on this side, I'm going to be adhering our little trifold. So I only need adhesive on the very back. 
adding quite a bit of adhesive so that all the areas that are sticking up get a little bit there. Okay, and I'm just gonna adhere that. Press that down. And now we have our cute little card. Oh, stop it. I love that it's got like a little extra something to it. All right, so here is the final card for day 10 of the holiday card series. It still remains very thin, very lightweight. I think it's gonna do great going through the mail, but we have that additional surprise when you open up the little trifold. Love that. There's also a place on the back to write a message. Love that so much. So just a reminder that you can register for the latest class at onlinecardclasses.com, which is a live event taking place on December 3rd. We'd love to have you. Um, you can register for that all the way up until the day of or even afterwards so you can catch it on replay. Uh, the live event, is, it's kind of all day long. It runs from 9.30 a.m. Eastern until about 5 p.m. Eastern. And there are um, breaks in between sessions. So you can like take a break and whatever. And if you miss any of those sessions, you can watch it later on replay. So links to Relax and Rewind Holiday 2023 are down below. Um, there is early bird pricing through Monday night. You're probably seeing this edited replay on Tuesday morning, so you won't have early bird pricing anymore, but it's still very reasonably priced. And it's a great class for beginners and experienced card makers alike. All right. Thanks so much for watching today. And I will be back on Wednesday with day 11. Can't believe we're already day 11. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.